Let us try another example for the flank sections. This time, you are given the amount of reinforcement bar equals to 2592 mm square. With the sections given here, you are asked to determine the moment resistance of the section. The sections had a flank width of 450. The width of the web is 300. The height of the flank is 150. And the depth of the beam is 550. It is given that the steel bar is 500 newton per mm square and the compressive strength of the concrete is 25 newton per mm square. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. With the given information here, you are not sure whether the stress fault is actually falling within the flank or actually stretched into the web. Therefore, your first step is to determine whether the stress plot is within the flank or within the web. This can be done by comparing the compressive force in the concrete flank with the tensile steel strength. Assuming that the concrete and the steel are being used at its full capacity based on their design strength, the compressive force due to the flank is determined by multiplying the design concrete strength with the effective area of the flank. It is found to be equal to 957 kN. As for the steel forces, it is determined by multiplying the design stress of the steel multiply the area of the steel which is found to be 1128 kN. The forces in the steel bar is found to be greater than the forces in the compressive flank. Therefore, the S it will be actually greater than the height of the flank. That means the stress block will stretch into the web of the section. The differences between the steel force and the compressive force of the flank it will be taken by the web of the concrete. On that rationale, we are able to determine the SW. The SW here is expressed in the form of the S-150, which is the height of the stress block minus the height of the flank. Substitute the equations for the compressive web, you will determine the S equals to 190 mm. Based on the S obtained here, you will determine the positions of the neutral axis X. It is found to be 238 mm, which is equal to 0.43 D. This is smaller than 0.617 D. Or, if in accordance to the Euro code, it is smaller than 0.45 D. Therefore, we know that the steel bar will have yield. This step is important for us to confirm whether the steel bar has yielded because from the start, we have already assumed the steel bar yielded based on the equations that we use as 0.87 FYKAS. These equations will be valid if it is proven that the steel bar has yielded. Now that we confirm the reinforcement bar has yielded, we will be able to confirm the compressive force in the web. And finally, we determine the moment acting within the sections. It is determined by multiplying FCF with Z1 and FCW with Z2. 
FCF and FCW has already been calculated previously as 957 and 170 kilonewton meter respectively. Z1 can be determined by minusing the D with half of the HF. As for Z2, it can be determined by minusing the D with HF and minus half of the SW. Substitute the relevant value into the equations. You obtain the moment capacity given by the area of 2592 mn square is 519 kilonewton meter.